and welcome, this is Ruth and today I have this beautiful bottle shaped gift box die set to share with you from Tonic Studios. It's a really really lovely shape, you can put whatever you like in it. It's actually called the Time to Drink Champagne gift box but as most of you probably know I'm actually teetotal so I'll be using this for chocolates or a bubble bath or something like that so there's no reason why you can't do the same as well. But I've had this for a little while, I haven't made it up and uh, I've actually got quite a few messages from people asking me to just to make a little quick video to show you how to put it together. So here goes and I hope you enjoy it. There are 41 dies in there and we'll have a quick look at those and as you can see once I open this up there are full instructions there. So I haven't even made it up yet. Uh, as I said it's been sitting on my desk for a while but now uh, since Christmas I've sort of realised there are other uses for this so um, I'll try it now and hopefully these will be really, really straightforward to put together. But there are the dies and as always there are lovely little dies here that you can use that don't necessarily have to be used with this set. I always look for those first of all but this is the main die here and you could probably just cut this out without using both of these ends. This, These are cutting lines here and here and this is a score line but you could, no problem at all, you could cut that off and make yourself a lovely little Hexagon. Yes, a hexagon. Uh, and then we've got this beautiful little one here. Uh, that actually says cheers. There are several dies together actually and you can build them up to make what's the, the little label in the end. I think it's this one. Uh, but that certainly could be used without the cheers in the middle on something else. This one is really, really beautiful. In fact, I have that cut out and I'm just going to show you what it looks like here. Isn't that lovely? So that could be used on cards or all sorts of things, maybe memory books or gift boxes and things. So we've got two matching ones here and then we've got the star shaped ones here and this beautiful little rosette. So it's the rosette um, cuts out this shape and then if you use the centre ones together you've got this which says for you but you can leave out the for you because it's a separate die. And you can use this for a little rosette with an edge on it or whatever on lots of different things as well. So then we have these lovely ovals here. We've got another little tiny hexagon and this one here. And I actually really love this one. I have that cut out too. Isn't that beautiful? With the lovely debossed hearts on it. So I have bits and pieces cut out. It'll tell you here how many you need. I've gone ahead and done that, but as I say, I haven't actually put it together yet, so we're going to do that together and see just how easy that is. So while I'm getting all this together and getting it ready, don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to my channel to do that and hit the notification bell. Uh, that really helps me. And also, if you do like the video, to give it a bit a thumbs up and leave me a little comment as well and let me know. Let me know if you would be using this for a bottle or if you'd be using it for... Um, say bubble bath or some other thing and give me some ideas that you could use this for. I'm thinking there's a certain brand of chocolate which I'm not going to mention but they do a lovely little thing called bubbles so I'm sure you know what that is and they're lovely and they would fit in there too. That would be really lovely because they're nice and small and round and that would be really nice. So let's get cracking. I've picked some beautiful bubble gum pink and then ivory card as well and a little bit of golden mosaic as you can see here on some of my pieces. So you can see, first of all, here's the amount of pieces that you need to cut out. But for the first part that you're going to assemble, you'll see there are two different dies that are quite similar in shape here. So one is this large one, the longer one, with the straight glue tabs on it. And the other one is slightly smaller and it actually has the scalloped glue tabs like this. So you'll know that those are going to be shaped slightly more than uh, just straight like this whenever you see them scalloped like that. So you'll need to cut out three of these as it tells you there and this shows you how to put it together but you'll notice that inside this part here we've got this lovely shape where you can actually have the stars or the bubbles, the little circles and I've gone for this one and I've cut that out six times and glued them on here and then I've burnished all those score lines and now I'm just going to follow along here and this is for the middle or the lid section and what you need to do is just make sure these are all facing the right way. If you've already got these die cut pieces on the top, the decorative ones, you'll have no problem at all in seeing how these are all going to be the right way around. But if you haven't, just remember to check. 
So what you need to do is lay these one on top of the other and you'll get them like this and then glue them all together. Then when you've got these glued properly <laughs> and very very straight on there you can then go ahead and glue these tabs onto the side. These tabs will go on the whole way right around this. Now because there's going to be a slight little curve to this as you can see that's usually the case whenever you see glue tabs like this on the side I'm going to give these just a slight little shape with my uh, bone folder first of all and just give them a slight little curve. actually going to be putting glue on these little semicircular tabs and then on these top ones but I'll be leaving the top ones until all these ones have grabbed first of all because it's much easier to get that lovely curved shape and also um, I'm using wet glue here but you can see that you could actually use red liner tape or double sided tape and that would mean that they would stick together a lot more quickly but um, I think just for durability and for a little box that you're going to be opening and closing a bit, I think it's actually just long term a uh, bit better just to stick with the wet glue for this. See how all those little areas have grabbed the glues all stuck together nicely on it and then now you'll be able to go ahead and put the glue on here and I like to use the little uh, pegs again just to hold that straight so just add glue on those little tabs hold that together and a little peg and then just move your way around there That's how that looks whenever it's finished then and there is a little die that you can use to decorate this with as well but I've just left that plain on this one and I've actually left it plain on here too because I'm going to put the band around the centre and, and I'm just actually looking at that and thinking that would make a lovely little bowl shape as well. You don't, you don't actually need to go any further with that one uh, unless of course you're wanting to make the whole bottle up but that's a lovely little shape on its own there and you could put things inside that. Now we'll go on to the next part and it's basically the same thing except it's even easier because there's no curving at all on the sides. So now we can just go ahead and glue these three pieces together in the same way as we did that one. That's the base all finished there and don't forget that you could actually decorate this top piece as well but I wanted to leave it plain and uh, I think it, obviously it would fit better into the lid as well when you do that but I haven't just looking at that it's a nice little gift box a nice little sort of basket thing without a lid a little thing that you could put uh, some of your tools and things in it could sit on your desk with different things in it and also if you don't want to have it just flat at the top like that you could also actually fold those over and glue them down on the inside that would strengthen the top and it would make a lovely little container as well but there it is as intended and now we can move on to the next bit now this next bit goes together in the same way and then will fit onto the top here so what you do is take this long die here and cut it out three times and then you can use either this or these to decorate it and I have used this beautiful gold golden mosaic and covered the sides of that as well and I've also given this a slight little curve in the same way as I did with the bone folder on the other pieces and it's exactly the same process for this. As 
as I'm working my way around this, I've just found that it's actually much simpler if you just glue these first tabs together and have all of those together first and then whenever they have grabbed then you can move on to the second layer the whole way around and then do the third layer and it actually keeps that curve in place a lot uh, easier and it's very very quick to put together that way. So the first layer and then the second layer and then the third one and leave these top tabs free just for the time being. Whenever you've got this piece all glued together then you'll take the lid you take these pieces and they've got to get glued on here so fold them all inwards like that add glue around and then just take your time and make sure you've got all of that positioned properly and hold in place. So that's nicely glued on and now we want to make a little decorative piece for the top. So you take this die and cut that out three times so that you've got six of these little tabs and then you'll want to cut out this little hexagon as well. So turn that one face downwards and then we're going to add all of these around the outside. Now you can see on the inside of this there are three little score lines. You're obviously going to fold these ones uh, and burnish those as well but these three in the centre, so you can see it there, yeah. So the middle one gets folded up in a mountain uh, fold and the other two in valley folds and then you can glue those that tab together so just put glue in the centre there and hold that together for a little minute and you've got a little shape like this and you can do that with all of these before you glue them together and you'll be gluing them onto here. And then you can just add some glue around the inside of that and pop it down over the top of the bottle. I've taken this little piece here and I've cut that out twice and I'm just going to glue those together by the glue tabs to make a little collar and fold those in slightly there and then the little rosette that I showed you at the beginning will then get uh, glued onto here and that will slip down over the top of the bottle and just decorate this neck piece. see a little die here that actually cuts two rectangles out and if you cut that out three times obviously then you're going to get six sides and you can take this little die and also you can use that one as well but I've just used these two together and I've created a little belly band I've actually glued them all together and made this and then on here you can see the little oval layering dies and I have layered those all up and made myself this lovely little part to go onto the front and you can see there I've just paper pieced that little heart and put it on. Now that slides right over the top and covers this part here. Then you can go ahead and put this piece on. Now I think um, I may have just moved this slightly higher up if I had a thought this out first because you can move that down but uh, this might look better if it was just that little bit higher up at the top. But there you are, that's that one finished and I think that turned out really really well and I can't wait to fill that with some nice chocolates. The bottle's really really lovely but I really did like that idea of making a little container as well. So I've cut out three of these. These are the straight edged ones that I used to make the bottom of the bottle and then I have used some paper. This is actually patterned paper from one of the kits a while ago. I think it was the Country Apron kit. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue all these together 
in the same way that I did for the base of that and make myself a lovely little container. That's it all glued together and now I've taken some of this beautiful moonstone pink ribbon and I've cut that to 26 centimetres and I've added some double sided tape on the back and now I'm going to wrap that around the top and then I'll make a bow and put it on top of that. This will overlap slightly but you'll not see it whenever I put the bow on top. I've added the ribbon the whole way around as you saw there and then nipped it off and I was going to add a bow on but then I really really love those flowers from the Flawless Flowers die sets so um, if you want to know how to make that up I'll link the video below where I've made up loads and loads of those there are some really really beautiful things you could be doing with those and then I have cut out some ivy and this is from the Entwining Ivy die set and this was actually from the great big long piece of ivy uh, I've cut out two of them and then I'm just going to glue them on here. I've nipped these off so they're not the full length at all because that's one of the great things about that die set as well. You can just use tiny pieces of it or you can add lots but I want that sort of to be poking out there and I want this to look nice and finished off at the bottom as well. So some glue in at the top and pop it in behind the floor. There we are. Isn't that really lovely? So that's my two projects finished with this set and as you can see we've got the bottle here with the little um, tag on the top and the little band around it and there's how the lid comes off and you've got your little container for your gift and that is the part then that I have made into this separate little container for putting well just w whatever you fancy into that. So thank you very very much for watching. Let me know what you think and let me know what you think you would put inside this as well. I'll be putting chocolate or something in as I said and I think that would be really really lovely. A beautiful gift. But this is quite feminine colours that I've used there and you could use darker colours and you could put all sorts of things in there that would match in with the darker colours as well. And then this. So if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell. If you've enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below. My affiliate links for these products will be down below in the description of the video as well. I know lots of you will probably already have this, but it's still available on the websites. It has taken me absolutely ages to get round to making the video. But there it is now, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.